my dudes. In today's video, I'm going to be building three nurseries in Bloxburg with $1,000, $10,000 and $100,000. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, pretty much I have a series where I'll build a room in Bloxburg but with three different budgets. And we've done bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, but so many of you guys were begging me to do nurseries. So this is going to be pretty fun. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got the budget for the first nursery, which is only $1,000. Honestly, I don't even know how I'm going to make this work because like kid furniture is so expensive. Yeah, literally. Okay, buying a crib is going to be half of our budget. I don't even know. Um, okay, well, what's like the ch what's like the cheapest crib I can buy? Oh, there's this one. There's the $340 one. You know what? That's, that's going to have to do. So we'll just put that there. We also need walls. Now, the problem with these challenges is I always make the room too big and then I have like so much empty space and everyone's like, Alaska, why are you making the room so big? Fine, we're only gonna have a two by one room. What does a crib room even need? Should we add one of these? Okay, I'm not wasting my money on whatever this is. Oh my gosh, guys, we also need a changing station. Hello, where am I even gonna put that? Oh, okay, maybe if I put that there, I might even have to make these walls bigger. Okay, we're making it four by two. <laughs> Is you blind? Okay, we've got the two main things that you need in a nursery and we've still got $300 left But before anything, let me just quickly add a roof because we don't want like rain hitting our baby's face, do we? No ma'am. And finally, we just need a lamp. Oh, this floor lamp's cute, but it's like $120. We also need a window in here. It's very dark. Okay, we're just going to put the window above the crib. And you know what? Surprisingly, we still have the budget to like paint everything, which is very rare. So we might just go for like a white crib room to like open up the space. You know what? We have the budget to make this a marble crib. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I usually never have the budget to paint anything, especially in the $1,000 room. So this is very rare. But you know what? It's a nursery. It needs some color. So we're going to use the color fog to paint the back wall. Okay, and we have $85 left. So what if I put like a storage unit here and then like a lamp on top of that? We got the budget for like this $35 lamp. So that's gonna have to do. And hopefully we have the budget to change the lighting. Okay, so I just painted the storage unit. I have exactly $0 left, which is surprising. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is my best $1,000 room yet. The only problem is I uh, forgot to add a wall and a door here, but who, who needs a wall? Not this baby, anyway. Okay, in the next crib room, we have $10,000 to work with. So it's definitely going to be more flexible than this. I'm not going to make it too big. I think I'm just going to do like a simple 4x4 four four room. And you know what? I don't usually add carpet in my builds. But I feel like in a crib room, a carpet would suit the vibe. Now we could go with this arch crib, but I think I'm going to leave that for the $100,000 room. And we'll just use this transitional crib instead. Lullaby hanging mobile. You know what? I guess we can add that above the bed. Wait, I've never used this before. That is so cute. We also need to add some plants around here. Actually, no. The last time I done a video like this, I spent my money. I'm not even kidding. I spent like five grand on towels and I just wasted my entire budget. So we're going to buy the things we actually need first. For the changing table, I guess that can go over here. And we also need like a little seat for the mum. Pretty sure they have rocking chairs. They do. I have this little contour rocking chair, so I'll put that there. And then we can have like a little ottoman at the end of the rocking chair, just in case the mum wants to lift her legs up. And then over here, I guess we can add plants because we've added like all the necessary things in a crib room. What does a nursery room need? Oh damn! Wait, that's a lot of things. It's fine. I think we're I think we're set. So I'm just gonna add some greenery in here because I want this crib room to feel like very within nature. I'm gonna put three paintings like this instead of making this custom wallpaper, and we can do one of those like coordinated custom photos. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. I already know what I'm going to do. Okay, considering we're not making this custom wallpaper, I guess we have the room to add some windows. So we can just add these like cute little curved windows like this. And you know what? Actually, I might even make this room a closet. So it's going to have little baby clothes. So I guess on the bottom shelf, we can just have this clothing rack and then we can add more of these oak shelves and then we can fill them with like towels. See, if we put roll towels, they kind of look like diapers. Guys, I'm doing what I done last video. I'm accidentally spending all my budget on towels. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, I think I'm gonna do the closet last because that's like the least important thing in this room. Firstly, we need a round carpet. Oh my gosh, guys, we also need a roof. Hello. And then for the lighting, oh, look how cute this little Pixar lamp is. We can add one of these cute little leaning floor lamps just next to this chair. I'm also gonna add more wall trims around the nursery to give it more depth. I haven't even figured out the color that I wanna do for the nursery. <laughs> this definitely needs to be a feature wall. So it can either be like a nice blue or or like pink or green. I don't know. I really like green. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a detailed wallpaper on this back wall. So we're going to do detailed tiles. Okay, so we've got $2,100 left. I'd say we have like all the necessary requirements. Okay, I don't really care what door we add just as long as we have a door. Oh wait, I just thought of 
something for the closet instead of having a bulky door we can have these curtains on there like this so then you can open and close it oh my gosh guys we've got 900 dollars left i still need to paint like everything okay let me quickly paint things before i get sidetracked so before i forget i need to fix up the lighting in here because it is literally so dark you know what i don't usually use fans for my lighting but i don't know i feel like a fan would suit a nursery we also need to fill out the closet so you know what we're just gonna put these little square boxes in here because they're only like 35 dollars i'm probably gonna spend my last budget on this but i really want to add led lights on the back of this wall just to make it stand out okay there we go i think that looks pretty cute we've only got 24 dollars left oh guys you already know what i'm gonna add you guessed it a coffee mug guys we don't even have the budget to paint the coffee mug it's just gonna have to stay that ugly dark blue color Do you know what i also forgot to add curtains like there's really no privacy in here okay so that was the ten thousand dollar nursery so now we're gonna be moving on to the hundred thousand dollar nursery okay so as you can see i have exactly a hundred thousand dollars my only challenge is i don't know how i'm gonna make this nursery look good you know what it's fine i'm gonna make this nursery look like queen elizabeth's nursery okay i want there to be a massive walkway into the crib and yeah you guessed it i'm gonna make it two story before i structure out the entire room i think i might just work on this section first i'm gonna do like a different approach to what i usually do okay now first we need a elevated crib room this is my favorite thing to add lately i don't know why i'm just obsessed with doing it like in reality no one would have this in the house but like with an hundred thousand dollar budget you can do anything so there's a little stairway and we're literally gonna have the crib in the middle of this section like yeah i'm talking fancy okay so first thing i want to do is work on the windows i'm actually gonna do like my own custom made windows and hopefully it'll turn out good okay so we just put a clear window at the bottom and then we add another clear window up the top and then finally we go in with a half rounded window so then we just go in with structural beams and just attempt to outline the window i think i might do like pink stained glass windows because i don't know i feel like that would look really cute okay so that's kind of what i want to do for the window and now all we have to do now is copy it on both sides so one here and then one there and then i'm going to go in with these fancy pillars kind of what i done for the bathroom in my previous video and just lift these all the way up to the roof now i have this idea in my head but i don't know if i can do it i really want to do like custom made clouds on the wall okay that does not look like a cloud now for the roof instead of like a regular sky roof i think i'm going to go with a pink pyramid glass roof and kind of lift it up like this so this section looks like a little castle finally i can add like a really big chandelier in the middle oh my gosh look how absolutely insane this is looking it's gonna look so dumb it's just there's just like this massive castle and then like a little baby crib now of course we have to get this arched crib and just put it i guess like right in the center <gasps> oh my gosh this is absolutely ridiculous like whose baby is actually gonna sleep in here let's be honest also can you imagine if your baby was crying you had to like travel eight flights of stairs just to get up to it no thanks i also put these vertical cylinders behind the crib so i can put like a few candles that's probably not the safest option but you do what you do oh my gosh look how bright that is it's burning my eyes okay and we'll also have a little baby bear next to the crib this nursery is just one big health safety hazard it's literally three candles right next to the baby's head and then if you look up there's just this massive chandelier hanging on by like a thread of glass that is just one big mistake waiting to happen now you know what i think i'm gonna go with the ongoing theme that i've been using throughout all these nurseries and that is this fog color i really like it it's like this baby blue okay now we also need curtains for the windows but instead of adding regular curtains i'm just gonna go in with these like round pillars and then finally we just need a rod to connect all these curtains together so we'll just add a large round rod above the curtains so i don't know why but i feel like this back wall needs to be more dark see i feel like that stands out more than this what on earth is that what is that i've never seen that before dancing banana i'm gonna have literal nightmares can you imagine if that was like right next to your bed like you're a baby and this is your view now we also need a chair up here just in case like the baby's crying you need a rocket to sleep so i think i'm going to use the same chair that i used the ten thousand dollar nursery and it was just this little rocking chair oh <gasps> wait i just thought of the cutest idea hold on if i put a cube like this resize it and then move this at the back like that oh my gosh it's working i think and then we have a flat surface on the crib so you guessed it i'm gonna put my initials on this crib okay so i think the section of the nursery is done so now we can work on the other section okay i know this is extra but like what if we have a two-story closet okay i think this is a really weird setup but i think it's gonna work and i want the changing station to be separate from the actual crib itself okay so first we just have to get these walls all structured this crib room alone is like bigger than my entire house okay so the first room i want to work on is the entry area which is over here and just use a modern double reveal door in this little section it's going to be the changing room I love how it's 
just this massive two-story room and then i'm just gonna add like a little tiny crib oh my god wait please tell me they have cloud decals if they do this changes everything hold on oh my god they do yes okay this is actually so cute now i can add little clouds above the changing table look how cute these clouds are oh my gosh you know what this kind of reminds me of like the toy story the toy story room oh my gosh and maybe down here where all the storage can be this can kind of be like mountains wait oh my gosh i'm having so much fun here wait if i use thin square beams to kind of like outline some mountains okay i was feeling like bob ross and i was thinking that i could do some cute art it just looks like three stink clouds. Okay, now that I think of it, why did I make this crib room so enormously big? Like, <laughs> I think this is genuinely like the biggest room I done. This is like bigger than the bedroom. Like, what am I doing? Like, this is insane. It's a baby. It can't even walk. You know what? We're also going to have a canopy over the changing station. It's not like this nursery could be any more extra. Okay, what do I say this room was going to be? The closet, right? Mate, what if I put like a spiraling staircase here? So then like baby shoes can be on the bottom floor. And then on the second floor just be like all the clothes oh my gosh we can also make this into like a little balcony i don't know i'm feeling extras today okay so it's super dark in the closet so i just added these two lights and then in the middle we can add this large painting okay now in the middle here i really want to add a seating area so i think i'm going to go in and add these sophisticated lounge chairs okay i got rid of these ugly colorful clothing racks i'm just going to add these ones oh this closet's still ugly you know what's ugly because i used overhead lighting okay ruins anything okay so i made a few changes i just added this wall like in the middle because there was like a massive space to work with i just split the wall down the middle so then we don't have like one big massive open area so then that way on this wall i can add a fireplace and just extend that to the roof and you know what we can also add a tv on this fireplace as well and then on the opposite end which is over here this is like the first wall you look at when you walk in so you know what i'm thinking we might even do like a little waterfall moment again with the initials av like as soon as you walk in. oh my gosh wait if we paint this wall out of like these bricks and then then we add the waterfall behind this i feel like that would look really sick also it's not really realistic because i mean where's the water gonna go on the carpet no i don't think so so let me just quickly fix that so all i'm gonna do is just add a basic shape and then it looks like the water is like falling behind the cube okay so i think that's good for the entry area we also have this like massive space in the corner so i think i want to make this a little reading nook because i mean we still have sixteen thousand dollars left which is just crazy so i'm just gonna fill these walls up with traditional bookshelves and usually i'd paint the books but i feel like in a nursery you need to have these like vibrant colors wait i just thought of something cute what if i put this little end table next to this chair and then we can put like milk on top they have these oil bottles and we can kind of like make that look like milk by painting it white see it does it looks like a little milk bottle you know what? i'm also gonna add a little milk bottle in front of the bear so like the bear's holding the milk bottle look how cute that looks so because everything else is done i guess we can just fill these windows up with curtains oh my gosh and even after that i still have 2400 left okay if we just go into baby and kids i guess we can just spam a bunch of kid furniture or we can have a little table over here even though it's technically like a baby so i mean it probably won't be playing with all these toys but this can kind of be the toy section and oh my god how do i only have 45 dollars left i wasn't even looking that went by so fast Okay, with our last $45. Oh my god, should we just buy a pair of socks? Right on the floor. Boom, socks. Okay, and just like that, the $100,000 nursery is done and we have only $3 left. Okay, so the 1K, 10K, and 100K nursery is all finished. So let's make our way inside. Okay, so the first nursery we have is the 1K nursery. So as you can see, not really much going on here. But honestly, compared to my other 1K buildings, it's not that bad. Like it has everything you need besides obviously like walls and a door i don't know how i forgot to add a wall and a door i just ran out of a budget because i was too focused on like what i was adding on the inside okay in the second nursery we have is the 10k nursery now compared to all three i genuinely think this one's my favorite just because it's like the most realistic one i genuinely love the way this turned out so much and here is the closet so you can actually open and close the closet like look how cool this is also look how cute these little decals are like what yeah this is the 10k nursery so let's make our way to the final nursery which was 100k okay so when we come into the 100k nursery we're firstly greeted by this massive waterfall fountain i didn't even know why i added this and then coming over to the left we have this little reading nook and then on the opposite side we have the changing room and i mean look how cute this little cloud wall turned out i can't believe i found actual cloud decals and they turned out amazing okay now behind this we have like a little seating area and i also added this like massive tv on the fireplace so extra there's also extra room here so i just added a few little toys here and there and 
and then we have the closet now the closet's pretty big it's like two story like i don't even think a baby needs this many clothes and then finally we have the actual crib now i think this is like my favorite bit of the nursery just because of how elegant and extra it is it's also not really functional if you think about it like if you're a toddler right here if you look up there's just a massive chandelier above your face so probably not safe there's also like candles next to the crib so i do like the av initials on the crib though that was a nice touch but anyway guys that was me building a nursery with 1k 10k and 100k if you want to see me do another video like this make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one bye